everyone and welcome. You're watching uh, the Breakfast News on Rajya Sabha TV. I'm Ashwarya with you. And these are the Breakfast News headlines. Veteran BJP leader Sushma Swaraj passes away at 67. Former External Affairs Minister to be cremated with full state honours today. Nation grieves the passing away of Sushma Swaraj, President, Vice President and Prime Minister condole her demise. Political leaders remember her as a great orator and a leader with an extraordinary People's Connect. Foreign leaders pay tributes to Sushma Swaraj. Former Afghanistan President Hamid Karzai calls her a tall leader. Nepal's Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli expresses heartfelt condolences. In the Rajya Sabha, Pralat Singh Patel to move Jallianwala Bagh National Memorial Amendment Bill for passage. House to also take up a dam safety bill and Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Bill 2019. And Presidential Assent for Resolution abrogated the special status to Jammu and Kashmir under Article 370. Lok Sabha passes it with a two-third majority yesterday. Prime Minister terms the move momentous. Lok Sabha adjourned sine die. Illustrious BJP leader and former External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj passed away on late Tuesday night, suffering a massive cardiac arrest. Her body will be kept at the BJP headquarters for three hours this afternoon for the party workers and leaders to pay their tributes. Sushma Swaraj died at Delhi's All India Institute of Medical Sciences Hospital after a cardiac arrest. She was 67. She had not been keeping well lately and had opted out of contesting Lok Sabha polls earlier this year due to health reasons. President Ramnath Kovind visited Sushma Swaraj's residence at Central Delhi's Jantar Mantar Road to pay his tribute just a short while back. Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla also paid his last respects to Sushma Swaraj. Swaraj's body will be kept at the BJP office uh, from noon to 3 p.m. And after this, uh, the mortal remains will be taken uh, to the Lodi Road uh, crematorium for the last rites. And barely three hours before former former minister and BJP veteran Sushma Swaraj passed away on Tuesday night, she had thanked Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the centre's move on Jammu and Kashmir and said that she had waiting to see this day in my lifetime. And Delhi government has announced a two-day state mourning as a mark of respect uh, to the memory of former Chief Minister and the uh, country's most respected leader, Sushma Swaraj. The two-day state mourning uh, means that there will be no entertainment event uh, during this e period. And, uh, however, all the other government business and uh, programs, including the Anganwari program at uh, the Indira Gandhi Indoor Stadium, will continue as scheduled. All right, uh, our colleagues uh, are joining us. Uh, we have with us uh, Kilesh Suman, our foreign affairs uh, editor, joining us uh, from the national capital. Panchanan Mishra is also joining us from the national capital outside uh, Sushma Swaraj's uh, residence. And we also have with us uh, Ashok Tandanji, uh, senior journalist, joining us uh, in the studio right now. Thank you all of you for joining us here on Rajya Sabha TV. If I can come to you uh, first, Panchanan. What updates do you have uh, about uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, we understand, is uh, going uh, to pay his last respects uh, to Sushma Swaraj. Uh, he'll be visiting uh, her residence in a short while from now. We understand that President Ram Nath Kovind was uh, there a short while back. What updates you can give us? Exactly, Ashwarya. Uh, President Ram Nath Kovind was uh, here uh, short while ago and uh, now we now uh, prime minister narendra modi and also bjp president amisha is uh, uh, 
uh, about to come in any time uh, to pay his last uh, respect uh, to the leader Sushma Swaraj. And uh, uh, every every leader from different political parties, including uh, Samajwadi Party, uh, Mulayam Singh uh, from uh, Derek O'Brien from TMC, and other other leaders uh, from government and uh, from opposition are reaching here. Uh, VVIPs and common men also reaching here. They are uh, paying the last tribute uh, uh, to Sushma Swaraj, and they are uh, remem remembering Sushma Swaraj as a as a as a leader. Uh, she was not only a good parliamentarian but also a good human being. And being a foreign minister, uh, she made a mark uh, of, uh, for this country. So everybody is remembering Sushma Swaraj in his, in his own way, but uh, uh, her body has been kept in his uh, private uh, house in this Jantar Mantar and uh, at 12 it will be uh, kept uh, at BJP headquarters at 6 in the Indial Mark. And then uh, at 3 uh, pm th there will be a, a cremation at uh, Lodhi Road crematorium. This is a program and BJP and has cancelled all uh, its program uh, for today. And as she was a Delhi chief minister, uh, so Delhi government also uh, given a two-day mourning uh, uh, for, for, for her, uh, her sad demise. So this is all program and uh, uh, different uh, parts of uh, the common people and leaders are reaching here, MPs are reaching here from the different parts of country and paying the last tribute. Right, uh, Panchanan, stay with us. Uh, we'll just come back to you. Uh, let's go across uh, to Ashok Tandon, senior journalist who is joining us in the studio. Sir, one of the most prolific politicians of our country and uh, perhaps, uh, you know, most uh, importantly uh, remembered for her role as the external affairs minister. But not just that, you know, she was a very astute politician, uh, very, very uh, important parliamentarian as well. And her administrative skills, her oratory skills are well known to all. How do you remember Sushma Swaraj today? I think uh, Sushma Swaraj was an embodiment of women empowerment in Indian politics. You know, coming from a very, very humble background, uh, her father had migrated after partition from the West Punjab and settled in Ambala. And from there, right from her student days, Sushma Swaraj made a mark uh, as, as a student leader. And when she joined the JP movement uh, during emergency, and after that, when Janta Party was formed, uh, she contested the assembly election and became the youngest cabinet minister in Haryana government. And that was a remarkable uh, beginning she made and never looked back. Then she came to the center stage in Delhi after the Janta Party split in 1980. She joined BJP and she would rather remain with BJP. And from there, she had risen through the ranks. She was the BJP spokesperson in Delhi and then went on to become a, a, a minister in Vajpayee government in all the three Vajpayee governments of 96, 98, 99. She was a cabinet minister. Then in 98, she was made chief minister of Delhi. And later on, she was asked to contest against Srimati Sonia Gandhi from Bellari. And that campaign was remarkable because she picked up the local language and the entire campaign she conducted in Kannada. And she had a remarkable sense of uh, picking up the political acumen. And then she became leader of the opposition in Lok Sabha for five years. She made a mark as parliamentarian. She got award for being the best parliamentarian. Yes. And as an orator, she could, you know, spellbound the entire audience. And she mm -hmm. was in great demand whenever there was election campaign, any part of the country. In fact, she was popularly called the second best orator after Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Mm -hmm. and so ultimately, I think the best tribute to Sushma Swaraj would be to remember her as a, a, a woman with acumen, as a, grand, a great daughter, a, a great wife, and then as a mother. And then, you know, she was a, a, a very able administrator, and that was reflected when she was INB minister. Mm. She knew all the journalists by first name. She mm. would never call anybody other than the first name. And mm. she was loved by the entire media fraternity. Absolutely. And when she became uh, external affairs minister, that was the height of her political career. And, uh, you know, she handled external affairs with human touch. Absolutely. Anywhere, any Indian or person of Indian origin held up and needed support and help. She was the first one to tweet to the Indian mission anywhere in the world and help was granted. So that personality of uh, Sushma Swaraj will be remembered for all times to come. And she would be a role model for all women politicians in this country. 
Absolutely. Akhilesh Suman Akulig is uh, joining us. Uh, Akhilesh, you've been covering External Affairs Ministry for RSTV for long. And, you know, you must have interacted uh, with uh, Sushma Swaraj. Uh, you know, it, it has been said that she brought this rare empathy, a uh, human approach to Indian diplomacy that was very evident uh, uh, while she interacted with people in on her Twitter account as well. Just take us through about her stint as the external affairs minister of our country. You know, uh, how can I paraphrase uh, her stint as external affairs minister that I'll say that she was actually a people's foreign minister. Though all ministers are people's ministers, there is no doubt about it. But why I am telling people's foreign minister? Because foreign ministry is considered to Akhilesh, be... Akhilesh, I am sorry to interrupt you at this moment, but we are getting these live visuals uh, there uh, from Sushma Swaraj's residence. We can see there M. Venkia Naidu, Rajya Sabha chairman, vice president of our country, paying his uh, tributes to Sushma Swaraj. And earlier we saw... President Ramnath Kovind at the residence of Sushma Swaraj a short while back where they paid their rich tributes. And uh, President Ramnath Kovind had also tweeted early in the morning. He had said that he is extremely shocked at the hearing of the passing away of Sushma Swaraj. And these live visuals we are getting are from Sushma Swaraj's residence, Vice President M. Venkia Naidu. And in his tweet also, he had uh, said that uh, his, the death of Sushma Swaraj is a huge loss uh, to the country and also a personal loss to him as well. In fact, he had remarked that Sushma Swaraj was an excellent administrator, outstanding parliamentarian and a remarkable orator as well. So tributes by Vice President uh, M. Venkia Naidu. And we understand that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is also going to be there at the residence of Sushma Swaraj in a short while from now. And earlier Prime Minister Modi had also tweeted, he condoled the demise of Sushma Swaraj, where he said that a glorious chapter in Indian politics has come to an end. He had said that India grieves the demise of a remarkable leader who devoted her life to public service and bettering lives of the poor. He described her demise as a personal loss as well and described her as an excellent administrator, saying that Sushma Swaraj set high standards in every ministry she handled. So those are live visuals are there that we can see. Tributes are pouring in from all quarters. And uh, Akhilesh, as you were telling us uh, about the stint of Sushma Swaraj as the External Affairs Minister, please continue. Right. Yeah, right. I was telling that uh, uh, many consider her as a people's foreign minister. Why I am telling people's foreign minister? Because, you know, the external affairs ministry is generally considered to be a bureaucrat's ministry who are dealing with the foreign countries. And... Uh, it doesn't make uh, itself a window of the people most of the time because they are dealing with uh, abroad. But Sushma Swaraj uh, made foreign ministry in a way that it became a people's ministry. And why I am telling that most of the foreign ministers who join as a foreign minister, they used to adjust according to the bureaucratic norms of uh, protocols of foreign ministry. But Sushma Swaraj made the protocol and norms according to herself, according to it will be convenient to the people. So uh, I can give you an uh, example of passport services. You know that she had uh, simplified the passport services like anything and she told uh, many a times to us and also the uh, ministry officials that passport is the right of every Indian and we you have to make it as simpler as you can and you have to deliver the passport at the doorstep and on her lines passport services are now expanding to almost every district of the country so I think Sushma Swaraj one of the biggest contribution is simplifying the passport services in the country so that every Indian 
can have a passport uh, with which uh, they can travel uh, abroad and also can have a proper identity of being in Indian. Mm. Other than that, you know, Susma Suraj's uh, 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 networking with the foreign countries was, ex was exemplary. And I saw once in 2015, just one year after uh, she uh, took, the, uh, took over the power of uh, oath of foreign minister, that uh, it was a crisis in Yemen, uh, you know, that uh, Yemen war, war-torn country, M many of the Indians were working there and they were trapped right, in the war. Right, uh, those was visuals no there we can see Indians of can uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi there arriving at uh, the residence of uh, Sushma Swaraj to pay his last respects to the departed leader. And early in the morning, we had uh, seen uh, President uh, Ramnath Kovind paying his tributes uh, to Sushma Swaraj. And a short while back, we saw Vice President M. Venkia Naidu and those live visuals are there. Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the residence of uh, Sushma Swaraj, paying his last respects to the departed leader. He had tweeted early yesterday where he had... Uh, after the news of uh, Sushma Swaraj's uh, death, he had tweeted as well where he had said that uh, the death of Sushma Swaraj is a huge loss for the nation and a personal loss to him as well. In fact, uh, he had uh, sent out a series of uh, tweets where he had uh, spoken how the remarkable leader had uh, devoted her entire life to public service and also bettering the lives of the poor. And he had described her as an excellent administrator. So those uh, live visuals are there. Remember, the mortal remains uh, are being kept at uh, the residence of uh, Sushma Swaraj at the moment. And uh, after that, they'll be taken to the BJP headquarters so that uh, leaders can pay their last respects to their beloved leader. And we understand that uh, at around 3 p.m. from the BJP headquarters, the mortal remains will be taken to the Lodi Road crematorium, where last rites of Sushma Swaraj will be taking place with full state honors. Prime Minister Narendra Modi there, paying his last respects to Sushma Swaraj, who passed away due to cardiac arrest yesterday evening. 67-year-old Sushma Swaraj, her death leaving the entire nation in grief. One of the most respected leaders of the BJP and perhaps uh, the best remembered for her tenure as the External Affairs Minister Till early this year. She was brought to All India Institute of Medical Sciences last evening, late last evening, after she suffered a cardiac arrest. In fact, she had not been keeping well for some time. She, she was a diabetic and in 2016, she had a kidney transplant as well. Prime Minister Narendra Modi there, offering his condolences to the family members of Sushma Swaraj. Prime Minister Modi there speaking uh, to Sushma Swaraj's husband, Swaraj Kaushal. He's a criminal lawyer and a senior advocate uh, of the Supreme Court in 1975. He was also the governor of Mizoram. So Prime Minister Modi offering his condolences to the family of Sushma Swaraj. Sushma Swaraj was not keeping well for some time. In fact, she had opted out of contesting the Lok Sabha polls uh, due to health reasons this year. She, however, was seen at uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is swearing in for the second term in May this year. But she had clearly said that due to health reasons, she would not be contesting the Lok Sabha polls in 2019.
Prime Minister Modi had tweeted uh, that a glorious chapter in Indian politics comes to an end as uh, he heard the news of uh, Sushma Swaraj's demise. And he had uh, said that India grieves the demise of a remarkable leader who devoted her life to public service and bettering the lives of the poor. She's, he said that Sushma Swaraji was a one of her kind, who was a source of inspiration for crores of people. Prime Minister Modi had tweeted. And uh, right now, he is at uh, the residence of Sushma Swaraj paying his respects to the departed leader. And Sushma Swaraj uh, had many firsts uh, to her credit as well. And as Akhilesh was telling us uh, how being the external affairs minister, she brought a human approach to India's diplomacy. She won the internet with her Twitter outreach. And as a foreign minister, she brought a lot of wit, a verb, uh, to the way that she handled requests, especially on Twitter, from reuniting families to helping citizens uh, recover their passports, traveling home safely, getting medical visas. She set a real example for future foreign ministers. And she had a number of uh, firsts to her political career as well. She was uh, the Delhi's first female chief minister. Uh, at the young age of 25, where she had joined the Haryana government as education minister and became the country's youngest state cabinet minister. And in 2007, she, she notched yet another achievement. She became the first woman to be given the Outstanding Parliamentarian Award. Let's, Ashok ji, the way, you know, uh, we were described, you were earlier describing, there were many, many facets to Sushma Swaraj's personality that we are talking about. Uh, she was an excellent orator that you spoke about but uh, you know we saw those visuals there prime minister modi there paying his respects uh, last tributes uh, to the departed leader uh, how do you describe uh, you know her her equation with the prime minister because uh, uh, prime minister modi used to travel a lot and the external affairs minister sushma swaraj was meanwhile very active on twitter as well uh, how do you how do you look at the close relationship that Prime Minister Modi had with Sushma Swaraj. Sushma Swaraj uh, had a long association uh, with uh, Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi. Uh, <clears throat> since uh, Prime Minister Modi was the organizing secretary of the party <clears throat> in charge of Haryana, uh, Punjab, Himachal, Chandigarh, etc. And since uh, Sushma Swaraj uh, uh, hailed from Haryana and therefore uh, right from those days, in all organizational matters, uh, they were in touch with each other. And uh, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi was uh, an organizing secretary of the BJP in Delhi, uh, she was the spokesperson of the party. Mm -hmm. so they had a <clears throat> very close association. And, uh, and from 2009 till 2014, she was the leader of the opposition in Lok Sabha. Those five years, uh, she made a remarkable uh, contribution to uh, Indian Parliament as well as uh, to the BJP's role in Parliament. And that was the time when they came to, in contact with each other because Prime Minister Narendra Modi was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. So after the 2014 election, uh, he re got returned from Vidisha with uh, a thumping majority and then being the senior most leader, one of the senior most leaders of the party, she was uh, appointed as the external affairs minister. Yes. And since then, obviously, the prime minister himself became a very popular world leader uh, in the global arena. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sushma Suraj uh, was supplementing that role as external affairs minister. And she made a mark 
during her visits to various countries, especially the Central Asian republics mm -hmm. and also the neighboring countries. Yes. And in that sense, the perfect uh, equation between the Prime Minister and the External Affairs Minister, Sushma Suraj, was quite evident uh, uh, at the political scene. And in that context, as oh, everybody has been saying, uh, she yes. gave a human touch to External Affairs Minister Ministry mm -hmm. and reaching out to the people in trouble. And that was remarkable. Absolutely. Normally, people complained about uh, their problems uh, to the ministry. But here, uh, there was a minister who was herself reaching out to them and trying to provide all possible assistance. So in that context, it was a perfect equation between the prime minister. And she contributed a lot. Indeed, in it is a big, big loss uh, for not only the BJP, but the entire nation. Uh, sir, stay with us. We'll just come back to you. We'll take a very short break here. We'll uh, be back uh, with that, that big story on the other side. Don't go anywhere.